This is an upgrade to the power supply I've been showing in recent videos. This one here. I've made another one and this one has got current on it. And one major use of which is that it's always difficult to measure the power going into exciter circuits. So I've got the Dr. Stifler SEC 18 there running and it's using now, well, 43 milliamps. You can see that the thing's quite responsive. If I put a neon onto the end of this pigtail, you can see the neon come on and the current's gone up to about mid 50s, 56, somewhere like that. Down back to 42 when I take the neon off. So it appears to work fine indeed. I've tried it on a number of circuits and it seems to be uh, quite accurate for the usual current that's used if you use a multimeter against it. There are a couple of trimming pots on the back and I'll explain more about that in a minute because the wiring is also a little strange and there's not that much information about the actual wire up on uh, on YouTube or online. So uh, next part is how to wire it up. Right so here's a diagram of the back of one of these meters and there are some different wire ups going on, uh, different models of these things but if we look on the actual original here the actual thing in the hand, it's got yellow, black and red at the bottom and at the top there is normally red and black wires. Also you can see there's a trimmer part and there's another one down here and there for the voltage and current to get it set up properly. Uh, there is also an important 10 amp shunt. Now you'd expect the red and the black to be the outputs at the top, they have 10 amp wiring on them but it doesn't actually work that way and that's what's uh, important here because you don't see a lot of these diagrams and explanations on YouTube. The yellow and the red get connected together and they are the input from your power supply. The black is the input ground from your power supply. For the output you have the bottom one, the black, which forms the ground to your load and you have the red, well or yellow and red, as the output positive to the load and then the voltage and the current will work. Here's a two pin oscillator circuit and that's running at 53 milliamps. It's got a uh, 8 watt dollar tree bulb on it. If I touch the back of that, or get near to it I should say, <laughs> there we are to a decent enough brightness just by moving the thumb there. You can see that it moves up there to well 61 milliamps, 60, 61. And this is a 12 volt PC fan using 185 milliamps. Alright, I'll leave links for both the screen thing here and the voltage booster. I hope that was of use. Okay, thanks for watching.